Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I just have a quick video. Um, just to let you guys know that uh, Laurel, and she's Nurse Laurel here on YouTube, has cordially invited me to be part of her um, Magnolia March event. Now, uh, she usually has Magnolia May, but this year she wanted to do it in March, and I was super honored that I was invited, um, considering the fact that I've, you know, in the past, I've not been the biggest fan of these stamps. But, I'm starting to like them. I like their object stamps or the thing stamps i love their um their doohickey dies like with no end these are some of the ones that i have but she has a giveaway right now on her on her channel and it's um and she what is she calling it um i have no idea um it's on my bed over there but um where she wants to see like um how many i think there's like three questions you answer yeah there are uh, like how many magnolia stamps you have or if you have none if you have one or if you have a hundred some people have so many i i wouldn't even know where to put them um where you get your stamps your magnolia stamps and what stamps are on your wish list personally the third one i have no idea um because i started with the stamps with uh, with certain things not with the actual people because you guys know and you guys have heard me mention many a times that their eyes creep me out so because they have big huge and if you've noticed over the years the eyes have gotten bigger so anyway i started out with stuff like this one which is and these you can use for your other stamps as well this one is like uh baked with love it's a little three-tier thing and their animal ones are adorable as heck this is bunny prints and um and i started with stuff like that like the uh christmas to not even in frame christmas tree um, and then I started getting into the actual, the little girl ones. So I, I only have one Edwin, um, and that's the one I got from my, uh, DT package for Art of Tech Supplies. Uh, so I have no idea. I didn't even count these. I should probably count them. Um, I get mine now. I get all of mine now from, uh, from Art of Tech Supplies .com, and I'm on, on her DT team. But I've gotten them in the past from like Magnolia Licious, um, Joann's, Simon Says Stamps. When they have their 50% 50, 50 off sale off the Magnolias, that's when I get them. And at Joann's, um, you can't buy them at the store. You have to go on the dot com. And uh, when they have like all of their stamps or 50% off or whatever, those are included as well. So you can get those there. So I just took a quick minute to just count them just out of curiosity because I was kind of nosy. Because I do have way more dies than I do stamps. And I have 26 of the stamps. And they vary from people to, you know, whatever. They have these really cute ones. I'm always asked to do baby showers um, because I do decorations and stuff like that. And this one says, you know, please join us for the royal... Um, celebration in honor of you know such and such and as for the prince and princess i have like this uh uk phone booth and that one's called vintage phone booth this one is actually i've never used this one i've never used some of them this one is um exclusive easter egg i don't know who it was exclusive to but i got one uh, i just got this one in the mail and where's the other one this one and I, I got this one because I, yes, I do have the Christmas tree stamp. And this one is called Winter Forest. And you can see right there why. These things are so like whimsical and lumpy and bumpy that to fussy cut that and then make a, uh, what's the thing? A mask and stuff like that. I'm like, you know what? This looks a lot easier. And this, you can have a whole background all in one. So that one I got, I got that one on eBay. I don't even remember from where. I got, let me see, I'll show you guys. I have a few projects coming up with that Edwin one. And like I said, most of these I got. Oh, and I also got some from Not Too Shabby. I won a, a gift card. This one is Midwinter Tilda. This one's adorable. I like the ones that are, my favorite ones are the ones that you can use for whatever. Uh, this one is a Divine Tilda, or they're easily alterable, like this one. This one is... Tilda with apple wreath and if you saw my postcards that I made I made her with oh my gosh where's my heart stamp I'm missing my heart stamp here I don't know where it is but um this heart stamp and that one I got at uh Art Attack Supplies and because here's what it looks like this one I messed up here's the divine one there she is and it's so it's she's holding the the heart so you could easily easily alter these and have them used for many, many, many different purposes. Um, so yeah, so the heart one I did get, um, I did get at Art Attack Supplies. I have this one. This one is called something. 
I don't know. But it's the one that she has. Uh, she's pigeon-toed and has angel wings. This one I also got in a DT package. It's Ice Tilda. This one is Snowy Bench. I mean, not Snowy Bench, Snowy Branch. But what I like about this one, and when I showed it in my haul, you can either use it like this. If you flip it around, you can use it as bushes because it looks so similar to the um, to the Christmas trees. This one is Touch Tilda. She's in a little stocking. This one I didn't buy until I saw on somebody's video. Tin boxes. Looks so super cute because I didn't know if it was going to be a small one or, you know, whatever. This one is, this one's super cute. I like her big dress. Sparkle Poinsettia Tilda. Yeah. This one is Magnolia Tilda. I got this one in DT package as well. This one I got from Joanne's and this one you really can't see. But it is so heaven lace. And it's like that Tilda lace dye. But this is the actual stamp so you can stamp it. Um, this one is a mini stamp that I also got. This was a blue light special from our tech supplies. It says, uh, it's a little Santa. I didn't think I would like them, but I ended up using them on make little post postage stamps. So that's super cute on that one. Um, this one actually came free with one of the magazines. Once again, didn't care about this stuff, but the magazines have such luscious projects and everything. So I got this one. And this one came free with one of the magazines. So I totally actually love that one. And I used it, I think, on one of these. There we go. I used it there. This one is called... Doesn't have a name. Uh, it's called an orphan. Um, then there's this one. These little birdies are so freaking cute. I got this one from Joanne's. I think these. They have, like, if you really have to search through all the other stuff and you see, like, totally different ones. These, um... These I have for coming up projects. I actually got these for, this one is Sagittarius Tilda. And because I wanted to use her as a little girl Cupid for, um, for whatchamacallit, for, for some Valentine stuff. And this one is available also at Artitech Supplies. And this one I got, this is Glory Tilda. Truth be told, I only bought this one for the wings. Because I really like the wings and I totally gave away my next project. I'm going to put uh, Make Her a Cupid by actually adding wings. I really don't follow the astrological signs and stuff like that. But I have better things to do. But um, they, uh, I'm going to use the wings for her on that one. Because I was originally going to use the wings from the one with the pigeon toad with the wings that doesn't have a name also. Okay, and so this is the last one. This one is the Christmas Lace Heart. Uh, but obviously you don't the reason I like these that like if you guys follow some of my channel my channel You guys know that sometimes I justify my purchases if I can use it for at least two projects two different projects so They make it more flexible all of these things they can like like this one I just grab it you can easily change this to a heart you can change it to anything um, So yeah, so this one obviously you can use for Christmas um, you can use for Valentine's Day It's a beautiful size heart and I know that Tracy's getting more of these in in her shop as well so yeah, that's um those are some of the things that so the ones that I have like I said I have way more dyes than I do um I love their dyes. Their dyes are just too crazy expensive, but I absolutely love them. Um which one call it? I I think the ones on my wish list probably because I think they're so 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 super cute are um I think it's like cotton dress tilde because she's like it's just a beautiful dress. Um it's just like really big. And the other one is, I think it's like Princess Tilda with curls or whatever. Those are just really pretty ones um, out of the older ones that I that I, that I kind of like. The new ones, I, I saw the new collection that they have um, that they just showed. And those are super adorable. I'm so going to get some of those. I think it's called like Dual Love or Dual Heart or something like that. I have no idea. Um, because they each come in collections and they have, and usually the collections are themed and stuff. So... Uh, but yeah, for that new one, those are actually cute. And there I go dropping stuff again. Um, so yeah, so Laurel, I hope that answers your question. I have, you know, I'm pretty sure this will grow eventually. As you can see, I have more stuff stamps than I do the people. And if you guys watch my channel, you guys know that I usually torture my stamps and cut out their eyes because they creep me out. And then I just fill them in with, uh, Copic, uh, my Copic multi-liners. So yeah. Yeah, so I think that's it, but look, I just absolutely love, if I can pick this thing up over here, I absolutely love how these came out. Like I said, if you can justify it, oh, well, if I can justify it for at least two different projects, you know, there you go. 
totally totally adorable and uh so yeah so i can't think of anything else i hope i answered all of your questions uh Laurel. um but once again thank you for inviting me to be part of this event considering the fact that i've been so mean and abusive to my stamps to my magnolia stamps um but thank you for inviting me i saw the lineup it's amazing it's i gotta step up my game because these ladies are super talented these ladies are I mean, they mean business with their magnolia till the stamp. So, um, and hopefully I'll get to grow my collection as well. So, all right. So I will talk to you guys soon. And thank you guys for stopping by. And thanks again, Lorella. And I will go ahead and email you now. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.